All right. Everybody should be able to hear me, and you should be able to see our screen. It's the plan for the best holiday sale for the successful marketing campaign title page. It has some ornaments. It looks like everybody's good, so we'll go ahead and get started. Now, thank you all so much for joining us. We really appreciate you taking the time out of your day. Uh, we know how busy you are, especially this time of year, so we really appreciate it. And for anybody uh, that is new, I'm Christina. And with me, I have Raven. Raven will be monitoring the chat for us today. So when you get those questions in, she'll be, uh, she'll be handling those. And for people that have viewed our past webinars, I'm sure you're familiar with us, but a little bit more background for anybody that hasn't. UnitWise was launched in 2009, and it was actually created to help directors succeed in business management. They did that using customer feedback. All of our technology is in-house, so it makes it very easy to tailor it to director needs. And because of that, we were able to help thousands of consultants and directors around the world grow their businesses. So that's a very, uh, very cool little backstory there. We are available mobily, so you can access UnitWise on your Android or your Apple. And when you go to parties and events and open houses this, uh, this holiday season, you'll be able to take UnitWise with you. So that is definitely a cool feature. Now, let's face it. The holidays are upon us. And this is a crazy time of year between shopping and cooking, you're working your business, the kids are out of school, your family is going to be coming over, you've got to clean the house. It's easy to see how somebody could get overwhelmed this time of year. But we're here to make sure that you have time for keeping up with your family by making sure that you have a well-managed business. And today we'll go over steps to make the most of your holiday sales season. You're going to develop a campaign strategy. You'll streamline marketing tools, plan holiday-themed sales and parties, and prioritize. You want to set aside time for your relationship with God and your family. Now, when you go to develop and execute your campaign strategy, it is absolutely essential that in the development stage you check your report. If you go into UnitWise and you check your report, you'll be able to see for a specific time period what products were sold the most. So that means that you can go in and look at last year's holiday sales season, and you'll be able to check out what sold the most, not only what sold the most, but who purchased it. So you'll be able to create a really good order and have a well-stocked inventory for the holiday season, and you'll also know who to market those products to to really have a, a good holiday sale. So now that you know products to promote and to order, and you know how to, how to, who to market to, you want to create a contact group, and you can do that in UnitWise easily to help you reach out to those people. Now, for more information on contact groups and checking out reports for uh, product sold and things like that, you can refer back to our previous webinar. It's called Plan for Success and Increase Your Revenue, and Raven is actually going to go ahead and post that. She's got the link posted in the chat for you, so you can make sure you don't miss out on that. So once you've got your contact group and you've checked out your reports, you want to make an email template. And you want to make sure that it's festive and it's fun and clean, but it's also going to share all of the details of anything you have going on for the holidays, uh, whether it be an open house, whether it be special sales that you have running. You want to have those details in that template. Now, once you have your template ready and you've got your contact group, you can go into email marketing and schedule those emails to go out in the future. And that is essential because you can sit down and schedule them all for the holidays. When you have a moment, you'll know when they're going out, you'll know who they're going to, and you're not going to be cooking on Thanksgiving wondering if you remember to send out that email for the Black Friday sale that you're doing. If you have enough going on without worrying about that. So it is essential to schedule your emails in advance. Now, while we're talking about this marketing, it is really important to streamline your marketing tools. You want to take advantage of UnitWise's integrated features and sync your social media accounts for UnitWise. It's good to put everything in one area so you're not going to be pulling up Facebook and Twitter and all of these different platforms and signing into different places and realizing you forgot your passwords and it's just too much, you get distracted. 
by syncing your social media accounts in UnitWise. You can have everything in one place, so when you sit down to manage your business, that's exactly what you can do, is manage your business. And on that same note of syncing in UnitWise, you can sync your calendars to manage your activities directly from UnitWise. And by doing that, we can see everything that you have planned out. It's all in one place. And you're not going to have your, your Google Calendar and your UnitWise Calendar and a day planner and sticky notes. You're not going to have all of these events in all of these different places. And that's going to make sure that you never miss out on an opportunity because it's easy to, you know, to forget things when you have them in multiple places. So you definitely want to organize your holiday plans on your calendar. After you've done that, you can set reminders and text notifications to be sent to invitees. And this is key because it's going to make sure that the ladies that have other busy plans, like everybody's life is busy around this time, when they are running around shopping, doing everything they need to do, they're not going to forget that they agreed to host a party for you. And they're not going to forget that they agreed to show up to your open house and bring forth friends. It's going to maximize your turnout by having those reminders and thus maximize your revenue from these sales. It is important that you stick with a theme throughout while you're doing the marketing, you're planning your sales and your parties. Sticking with a theme that's going to be clean and festive and really make your, your intent clear is going to make you memorable and appealing. Uh, too many different formats and, and themes and layouts is going to get confusing and overwhelming. So if you stick with a nice, being throughout, it's going to be memorable and appealing to your customers. Now, while you're developing and executing this plan, it is important that you prioritize and you set aside time for God and for family. We know that a lot of ladies got into this business for that exact purpose, but it is really easy to get so caught up in your business this time of year that you just forget to make time for anything else. It's not on purpose, it just, it just happens. So you want to use your calendar to also block out specific family time. So you know that you've scheduled that. You know you've made time for it. You can even get creative and have time for your family and church and involve them in things that you're doing with your unit. We know a lot of ladies do charity events this year and that kind of thing. If you involve your church and your family with that, that is a great idea. However it works for you, just make sure that you set aside that time because it's going to give you a good balance of work and family. And that's important for any time, but especially around the holidays. Now, to recap what we've covered, reports are going to be essential to figure out what you need to order for the holiday season and have a well-stocked, prepared inventory. Unitwise marketing tools are the perfect way to reach out about holiday events and sales. And entering your schedule into the Unitwise calendar is going to be the best way to manage your time, and it's going to save you time by doing it that way. Now we will go ahead and go and do our question and answer section. So if anybody has any questions for myself or for Raven, go ahead and please enter those in. And I'm going to go ahead and go over to our UnitWise account so that if there are any specific questions from the UnitWise account, I can go ahead and show you where those things are or how they work. Uh, we'll just give a second for the first questions to come in. Okay, it does look like Maxine would like to know what other tools does UnitWise have for marketing? That is a great question, Maxine. And we're going to go up here to our top tab and over to marketing. Now, we do have the email marketing and email templates, as we mentioned earlier, but we also offer text blast. And text blast is a great feature to use for texting multiple people at one time. It's going to save you a lot of time. And we also offer conference calling. And the conference calling is actually with our integration uh, through freeconferencecalling.com, which we know a lot of ladies love. They use this feature um, probably just as much as the email marketing. They love this feature. They can schedule their calls in advance. Um, people can call back in and listen to previous recordings. It is a wonderful feature. And we'll be happy to email you some details about both of those, just a little bit more in depth. We do have another question here from Rose. I currently have a consultant plan. How can I upgrade my plan to include marketing features? Um, that is a great question, Rose. Um, 
let me just get over there. Let's see. Now, to upgrade your plan to include the marketing features is a great idea. We really were excited that you're that excited about them. Um, all you would need to do is email us, let us know which plan you would prefer to upgrade to. We do have several that include marketing features, but if you are in any way working toward becoming a director, we recommend the Director Complete Plan. It's going to give you access to all of the unit-wise features, and it's really it's just our favorite one personally. It's got everything in there for you to utilize to manage your business. We will be happy to email you some more details about that. I'll just Respond to that email after the webinar. Let us know which plan you prefer, and we'll, we'll get you upgraded. Now let's see what other questions we have. OK, Sabrina would like to know, what are the email marketing features, and where are they? So again, under that marketing tab, we offer the email templates and the email marketing. And email templates, you just click there. And you can have categories of them on the left here, and then you can organize them by category. And you go to Create Email Template. You name it. You put your subject. You put which category you'd like it to be in. You can add attachments. And this is the area where you'll actually create your template. You'll insert images. And you can insert borders and fonts and different, uh, different text to really make it stand out and make it personalized. But this is where you would create that. There's also a merge field code. So you can pick the contact name and first name. And this link here will make it personalized so that when you send it out to Jill and you send it out to Sarah and Maggie, it's going to actually say, hi, or good morning, you know, Maggie, Sarah, Jill. And it's going to personalize it and make it look more like you sent that email just to them. We do have a lot more details about personalizing this area in that previous webinar on maximizing your, excuse me one second, let me pull that title up, and maximize your holiday sales. And that link is in the chat. Um, well, let's see. We do have another question that looks like from Sabrina. She'd like to know where to upload company picks to use. So that is a great question, Sabrina. You actually would go to your resource library and your image library. And this is where you'll load all of your images. You can click on Upload Image. And you can do a single or multiple upload and choose the file from your computer, name it, pick what category you'd like it to be in, and upload it. And then that'll stay in your resource library under Image Library. And you'll be able to insert that into your email template whenever you'd like to use that. So that is a great question. Now the email marketing section, just to be clear, is where you'd actually send out those templates. You click on Create Email Marketing. And this is where you would name your campaign. You would pick your template by clicking Ready Made Template and actually choosing that one. Or you choose your category, and then you would choose your email template down here. But that's where you can schedule your email or send them now or save them for later. But that's where you actually be the sending. Now, we do have another question from Maria. Maria would like to know where to integrate her social media and how to do that. That is an excellent question, Maria. You would go to social media. And you can see now for the director complete package, there is a website option. Um, so that is the first tab there, and that is what several of the other ones reference, like the blog tab and the My Profile and the form messages and the website leads. But clicking on Facebook, you will get this message, and it will tell you that you need to connect with your, yeah, with your Facebook account to view or publish your posts. And you would click there and just follow the steps to connect to Facebook. And then you can click on Twitter, and it is basically the same process. There we go. And we are actually already connected to Twitter, so it's not going to look this way when you start, but this is what it's going to look like when you go into Manage. You can go to Twitter, your Twitter settings. You can actually also go to your Facebook from right there. 
so you can see Twitter updates, you can post in Twitter, you can schedule messages in Twitter, and you also have the option of doing Google Plus, which you would again just click on connect with Google and follow the steps and you'll be able to sync all of your social media right there. Okay, it does look like Laura would like to know if she can use personal videos and emails, and that is a really good question, Laura. When you're in that email template section, you would just create your text and link your video to, um, like click here to view, or you could link it to the video name, and that would allow the viewers of the email to click into that and go straight to your video from your email. Now, it does look like we have another question from Susan, Susan would like to know, simply reschedule, simply schedule personal and business time on the calendar. How can we control what shows on our website and what doesn't? And that is an excellent question. So you would go to activities and calendar. And we'll give it just a second. We've got a lot of things scheduled here. So for example, if we were having, let's say we're having an open house on the 10th. So we would click there, go to edit events, and we could make this We'll say Christmas open house. We'll make it party. We'll make it all day. You can add more details about where, whether it repeats, which of course this won't, but you can add invitees or attachments. And you can actually add your hostess over here as well and attach that to her, uh, her customer profile. But this, under options, is the section where you're going to control whether it shows on your website. Now, for a Christmas open house, we, of course, do want it to show. So we're going to check that box. You can select the purpose. Uh, you can put other and put something specific if you'd like. And you can pick the priority. You can also color code it. So you'll always know which events are what color. And then you simply save it. And it will pop up on that date as that color and see the globe here, the globe means that it is scheduled to show up on your website. Now we do have a globe over here on Jennifer's soccer game and that's not necessarily something we'd want to show up on our website. So we can go in and edit that because oops, we didn't mean to and we don't want it to show. Well you just click on edit details and it's as easy as unchecking that box and clicking save. Now since that is a recurring event, it is going to ask you, would you like to change only this event, all events in the series, um, or this and all future events in the series. So we're actually going to do all events in this series because they are all her soccer game. We don't want any of those showing up on the website. So once we do that, it's going to load and you can see the globe is now gone from just her soccer game. So that is not going to show on her website. I do think that's the last of the questions. Um, Sabrina, we will email you some more details. We really appreciate the questions, and we will get those to you right after the webinar. Uh, but we will go ahead and move on from the Q&A section, because it does seem like that is winding down a little bit. Now, for anybody that is not part of the UnitWise family, you can sign up today with a free 15-day trial at unitwise.com. But you're actually going to get a follow-up email after the webinar and it is going to have a special promo code in it for you to use to get a free 30-day trial. Uh, for anybody that does not have a UnitWise account already, you can use director, consultant, anyone. But it is a great time to sign up for that to help you have the extra resources to meet your goals for the end of the year and the end of the month. And if you already have a UnitWise account, you can share that promo code with ladies that you know don't have it but might benefit from it. And when you do that, give them your username, and they can enter your username in the referred by box, and you'll start to gain referrals. And when you gain four paid referrals, you'll get a month free. So it's really a win-win for everybody. It's definitely something to look for in your inbox. We do ask that you join us for our next webinar, How to Spice Up Your Holiday Open House by Standing Out. It's going to be next Tuesday, that's the 14th at 2 p.m., and we're going to cover last-minute tips to help you prepare and execute your open house to perfection. Um, Raven is going to go ahead and put that link in the chat. Looks like that's good to go. So you can go ahead and click and register so you make sure you don't miss out on that one. And thank you all for joining us. We really appreciate it. And we can't wait to have you all back next week for our next webinar. Thank you.